It reminds me of uh, Melty Blood. If, if, if have you played Melty Blood before? No, I haven't. Oh, I I really I really like the little Neko arc and stuff. It's just like a bunch of cartoon cats. In oh, okay, okay. Uh, any, anyways, getting back into <laughs> we have another Pikachu on the field. Let's go! Wow, a lot of the racks coming out today versus uh, Archangel and the Diddy Kong. I, I sorry, not Diddy Kong. King DDD. Yeah, yeah, and you could rem uh, remember, like, you know, a lot of people are starting to think DDD is pretty good because of Adamas on Smash Summit 2. You know, he, you know, had a pretty good run, even though he lost against Charlie the King. It, he's very, very respectable how he played his gameplay. He bar he beat a Dark Wizzy in the pool section of the um, tournament, and um, Diddy Kong, as Charlie would put it, is a very neutral based character. And once you get him, once you win the neutral and put your opponent on the uh, ledge, you kind of have a, a very let trappy play style. But you can kind of see the kind of horrendous matchup of the rat versus King DD. Yeah, the rat is literally at kill percent right now from like a down smash with the dash attack, and that's really really good if he could get the ledge trap. But right now it's super hard getting the opening just because all the mobility is on Pikachu's side. He's able to quick attack out of everything. He's able to thunder jolt the Gordo, and you could catch the landing without F smash. Forward smash like had it outranged the landing forward air, which is a very interesting interaction that can cause that can uh, be very difficult for DDD to uh, deal with. Yeah, now you can see Carp since he's in the lead, he's you know trying to extend his lead even more uh, by not letting DDD breathe at all. There's there's two ways to play the lead. It's either to keep stuffing out the person's approach to not let them play defensive at all and keeping the keeping ahead or resetting neutral and reacting to your opponent. There's like two ways to keep the late lead. Mm -hmm. And you can kind of see Carp playing this really well. Now he's doing a little bit of defensive stuff with Thunder Jolts, which I really like. And uh, King DDD finding the zone breaker in that uh, dash attack, but not finding much more in that backer setting off stage. And this is where you are going to struggle, especially on a stage like Final Destination, where DDD has the um, the ledge trapping options to, to really ledge trap you and keep you in disadvantage. With Pikachu being one of the stronger characters out of disadvantage in the game, uh, being a smaller character with that uh, very fast movement speed, fast fall speed, along with you know a quick attack. But yeah, I saw that a little bit earlier on. I didn't want to say it uh, to jinx it, but um, there was no DI on that initial up throw, and he was able to punish that with a down B. And uh, that's going to be your stock very early on, especially for a very heavy character like King DDD. Oh, is this it? Oh, not nothing just yet. Fantastic fastball from Archangel to get off of that situation. But you can kind of see, like, it's really hard for DD to get an opening and really do anything. But once DD gets these straight hits, once he gets these back was once he gets these down smashes, you know, it's it's game over for Pikachu. But Karp's been very good at finding um, these conversions and getting, like, a couple more hits just to try to push him into disadvantage. and. You know, it's just different. It's going to be difficult for Archangel, but it's very doable. I mean, he's been playing this as well as you can expect, especially for such a difficult matchup. Yeah, no DI on these up throws. I really want to see him react to um, change, change that by trying to DI away, DI up, DI, you know, left or right. But fantastic up smash catching the Pikachu with his airspeed. But, you know, it's it's never too late. DD with Rage could kill Pikachu like at 40%. Yeah, it's going to be very scary. And that's the second time a, a high quick attack's getting punished by Archangel, who's been very good at uh, spotting the spots when to swing uh, to punish that. But yeah, he rolled from ledge. You know, he was feeling the pressure of that ledge trap and said, I want to get back to center stage and continue my game. But, you know, he chose the option that everyone wants to choose, and he was able to cover that very well with that forward smash. Yeah, the issue with always trying to roll up from stage or trying to do an instant stage, you know, roll, get up attack, an option off of ledge is, oh yeah, the other person knows, oh yeah, they're freaking out, they need to get to center stage and they need to reset neutral as fast as possible. Okay, I'm just gonna read one option and react to the other options. A really good area to, you know, kind of wait for if they're not ledge jumping you, just wait off, just wait on the ledge. Just wait till, you know, you're able to do something. I really like the King K roll pick here. Um, I think I, I'm not too sure what moves that uh, can break the belly armor from PK rule, especially after the buffs. But you're gonna hit these. You're gonna get hit with these very long-winded combos as a super heavy. And Pikachu has this option, which is gonna be very catastrophic to uh, King uh, King K rule. I'm sorry for uh, trying to recover. I on a side note, I really like Archangel's choice of characters. He he literally goes with kings. You know, yeah. they're they're all kings. Yeah. All right, getting back into this, it's really hard for Archangel to get anything done, especially against Pikachu. Look at these forward air loops now, these drag downs. So insane, and no DI on that down, uh, up, throw. up throw down, or down B. That was really good from Carp, uh, realizing that King K rules a bigger body, able to find those drag down forward airs for just that much more percent that you need, especially against a super heavy character like uh, King K rule. Oh, almost gets the buried with that, but you could 
kind of see the fantastic comeback capabilities of these uh, of these super heavies. Both, wow, uh, 163 after the hit, not able to find the kill on that dash attack, especially on a stage like FD. Very good DI, living these to 175. And yeah, you do I not want to count K Roll out, but Carp putting an end to that rage K Roll with that forward air. Yeah, I think Archangel accidentally, you know, misinputted his uh, side B to try to get back to the ledge, but unfortunately couldn't do anything right now. Tries to come down with the aggressive counterattack, but you can kind of see Carp playing very reactively, waiting for everything right now. And, you know, all these narrow loops Ooh. down air, nothing just yet, though. Interesting going for a down air there, trying to find maybe a tech chase situation. Not getting the correct read, but I like the creativity from Carp. And on Archangel's side, he, he's really just fishing for that one strong hit. And uh, I like that narrow to reversal, but here I think K-Roll needs to, he needs to really clean up on the ledge trap game that K-Roll does have. Oh, another, another no DI on the up throw, but I think, you know, Carp's like, okay, he's, it's, you know, I can't really get that. Fantastic da thunder into downer conversion. This guy's sick. Oh, that, that was really good. He even, like, went to the horizontal of Archangel to uh, bypass the propeller hitbox and just get the straight spike. But here, Carp with a nair loop set up here. Let's see, that's three? Uh, four? No, nothing just yet. 44% clean, though, but really waits for the coming down option. That's one thing. After you get out of disadvantage, you're just like, oh, I need to hit him while coming down. They're always going to, you know, wait and shoot. They're always going to narrow the shoot. They're always going to wait for your freak out option to re-grab you, you know? <laughs> what you could do, in my opinion, is fall down with an empty with an empty option, just like, you know, not do anything. And then, OK, let's see him run in. I'll spawn dodge, down smash, you know, do anything. But right now, it's really hard for k to do anything against the rack. Wow. And I mean, Archangels, I think, kind of just Trying to hit that one move that you need to, that you want to find, and literally the exact same situation with that roll from ledge, getting punished with a forward smash. But that was just a classic matchup of like, you know, a top tier versus characters that aren't as strong, and you're relying on using your like really slow frame data to find a, a big meaty hit, like with a Gordo or a back air or something along those lines. And he was really unable to find anything with a Carp in his movement, and Carp had 